All right, back in this warm-up area with whatever you want. Mark yeah. Mose, uh, give me a little background. You, you grew up wrestling here in Ohio? Yeah, I grew up at, in Ohio. I wrestled for uh, Eric Burnett, his dad, Ron Burnett, at West Shore Y, and then uh, went to St. Ed's uh, for high school. So, so uh, that's pretty odd. Like, think about the, the guys that you got to train under in the school you went to, you know, how how much of an impact did that have on, you know, where, I, where you were able to climb as a wrestler? You know, it, it was great. And then, uh, you know, my kids growing up now, they get to work with Eric Burnett and uh, Mike Kozicki, who's my coach in college. So it's like the whole circle of life. It's crazy. Nice. How old's your boy? Uh, the one wrestling here is eight. He just turned eight. Uh, then I have a 10-year-old who uh, he wasn't ready for the OAC stuff yet. Yeah. Um, we'll get back to OAC, but yeah, I, I have a, I have 11 month old, so I've been trying like trying to talk to all the dads that are coaching and being dad, and what's you know what's that experience been like for you? Man, I was someone who never got nervous when I wrestled ever. I was really? always like really really laid back. This morning I was throwing up. My son actually threw up as we're walking out of the bullpen. I was just like. Nerves are real, man. Yeah. Uh, so it's nerve-wracking. It really is having kids. Uh, you know, it, it's both my kids' first year wrestling. Uh -huh. uh, the one who's wrestling here, uh, Grady, he played basketball until this year. Gotcha. Uh, so it, it's been a, it, it's crazy having kids, man, and watching them develop their own personalities and coming around to wrestling now. So it's great. Thanks. So. You actually threw up, you're nervous yeah. for your kid, what, because you want to be successful, or it's no, scary dude. to rest, or can you even put a uh, put your finger on it? I can't, I can't even put a finger on it. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I didn't sleep last night. I'm a little bit insomniac anyways, uh -huh. but uh, couldn't sleep last night. And I woke up just like nervous. I was like, it, it's crazy, it's a terrible feeling. Yeah, but uh, how <laughs> How about that? Uh, do you love coaching your son? Is it like a... Uh, uh, to be honest, uh, Coach Burnett and Coach Kozicki, they really coach him more than me. I don't... I want to be dad. You know, I want cool, to separate. Man, I, I want to keep the two separate. When you have guys like, you know, Eric and Mike that will work with their son. Fully capable. Yes, yes. More than capable. And, you know, so that makes it really easy on me. Uh -huh. You know, I, I want to have the father son you know not co be too hard to separate them, yeah yeah for me at least we, we saw it grow for lots of years huh? lots of yeah. crazy parents out there you know so i, I like them to come off give me a hug a smile tell them good job you know not you know you see some of these guys i i can't be like that with my kids yeah. man and number one my that. wife would probably beat me <laughs> uh, number two i just want to feel right doing it yeah you know? uh, so it's intense around here. I've been away from youth wrestling so long, I didn't realize, like, you know, little seven-year-olds are losing five pounds now. That's ridiculous. Like, That's ridiculous. I know that, Jared, Jared does has some, like, they're starting yeah, to implement some new rules. Right. It's child abuse. Yeah, it really is. That's 10% of their body weight, yeah. you know, if you're wrestling 50. And it, it's it's not good for the sport in that aspect, but th there's a lot of them doing it. It's like, you know, I, it's, I don't know. Went on a tangent. I'm yeah, just, no worries. Yeah. So you you said you know, one of your sons is, you know, he wasn't ready for OA season. Yeah. You know, this is my first time here, and it really is, it really is solid competition and there, there's crazy. kids hitting stuff that uh yeah you, you know, saw wasn't it happening. at ncaa's <laughs> yeah you know, right with like you guys and you know all the access to videos and stuff like that kids are that are into the sport are you know watching the college guys uh -huh. try try and do what they do and it's great man it's great for the sport and you know, this tournament's just nuts. Uh, like, the technique, of just watching the little kids drill. It's like, yeah, man. right? They know how to drill yeah. like a college kid. Exactly. Eight years old, dude. It's, it's uh, eye-opening for sure to yeah. watch these kids because, you know, before my kids were involved with the youth, you know, I was sitting watching basketball games, mm -hmm. uh, stuff.
stuff like that to get back into youth. It's like, man, it's crazy. Yeah. Um, shoot, that's up my... Uh, I have my next question ready to go, but it's been a long day. My tangents um, messed you up. <laughs> um, why is... Uh, why is Ohio at, at this level? You know, I don't see I don't see other states. You know, a couple a couple other right. states. You know that are that are here. But why do you think their the culture is what it is, and the kids are able to wrestle at such high level? You, know, you mentioned like the you know being able to see stuff online. Right, and then you have, you have the club coaches. A lot of great club coaches. You know, yeah. like every part of the state has you know pretty good uh, club coaches. You know. For from Eric and Mike Fizicki, you know, Scotty Burnett's in Toledo, uh, Adam DeSabado, Colin Palmer, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, you know, Team Lindsay out in Cincinnati. Uh, you know, I, I don't know what Golden, yeah, Golden Cross, I, I forget what their new club is that Mr. Bird runs, Lucas Bird's dad. Uh, you know, Dave Riggs is running his club. You know, and they bring high-level guys into practice uh, for the youth kids, you know, and a lot of high school kids are giving back to youth programs, yeah. too. And, you know, it, it makes it it makes it fun for the youth guys. And, you know, obviously, they learn higher-level techniques. You know, stuff like that, it all helps out, you know, uh, developing the kids. Awesome. So you said you, you hadn't been, this was the question I had. Okay. There we go. Uh, you, you know, it had been a while since you had been around a youth room. So right. when you went back and, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe you're relearning how to teach or, you know, what the progression is. Like, what were the big, what were, like, kind of big ahas that you had? Like, all right, I got to slow down or, or, you know, when right. you needed to make adjustments to, to coach these kids. Right. I, it's just like breaking it down and every kid learns at a different speed or a different way, you know, and explaining to kids and parents that not everybody's going to learn the same way or be able to do this move like that, you know, and bringing in different clinicians helps a lot too, you know, because people finish single legs even different names, you know, uh, than I do, so just really find out what works well for the kids, you know, and uh, kids are hungry, you know. When I was a little kid, I wanted to go to tournaments and eat ice cream cones and stuff. Now, I don't even think kids are allowed to eat Dippin' Dots until they're done. Say it ain't so. <laughs> yeah, right? It ain't so. Terrible. Yeah. Well, this is the life we chose. Right, right. And, you know, it's great, though, man. I, I love the sport. I love watching these little guys, and yeah. they get after it, man. What do you think it is? Um, everybody that's in here coaching, you know, can't can't seem to get away from. What is it about wrestling that like just draws us in? I think it's a competition. You know, it, uh, the sport is so great for so many reasons, but you know, it, it's two in this case two kids out there wrestling there's no one else around to blame anything on you know and, and it's just a battle man i think it's hard I think, huh yeah it's really hard i think uh you know that's why like everybody's got to be competitive in this sport i think that's what attracts them you know to wrestling opposed to being on a basketball court or something where you could always blame somebody else you know yeah all right Who's, uh, who's your favorite international wrestler? Go. Man, uh, I have to go with Kyle Schneider, man. He's pretty good. Yeah, he's all right. He's pretty good. He's all right. He's getting better, I guess. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, hey, thanks, thanks for your time, and uh, thanks for putting back into wrestling, well, making it guys. better. Thank you guys for everything, man. You guys do great. I love it. Appreciate it. You got uh, anything else for us? That's it, man. 